Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. Today we will discuss about variables, which is very important in any language. We will see different data types which are useful to make our programs more user friendly so that our programs can do different stuffs. So let us start with opening our compiler. Select a new file. So suppose if you want to make a uh, calculator which can add two numbers how you gonna do that first you have to store the first number then the second number and then in the third step you have to display your result so for that you need at least two variables and third if you want so let us write a program to do such kind of stuff we'll include our header files first one will be whoops sorry Second one, hash include dot h. So then int main. As I already told you, in C or C++, every program must have a main function because from the main function only your program execution starts. So int is a data type which declares integers and if you want to store any integer in a value in any program you have to use int to declare that as an integer variable so I want three variables a b and c and uh, now what I want to do I'll I want to add two and three and uh, I want to show the result of a b and c in somewhere over here so what I'll do I'll assign the value of 2 to A and the value of 3 to B and here I want the answer so what is left we are left with C so we'll assign the result to C now you know how to how you can do this it's very simple maths 2 plus 3 but in languages if you are doing everything dynamically will do like this c equal to a plus b what is a a is 2 what is b b is 3 so now what after adding these two numbers will display c it's not a string so i'm not using quotation marks over here if i use quotation it will just type c not the value i want the value of c I'll then we'll terminate the program now let's run it save compiled c 2 plus 3 is 5 2 and 3 equals 5 so this was a simple program now it's not necessary for you to initialize the value of variables where they are declared you can assign the values here also B equal to and now when you run it see again you got your answer now suppose you don't know the values which you want to add how you gonna do that you have to get the values at the runtime for that you have to store the values taken from the user in A and B so how we are going to do it first we'll tell the user to enter the first number semicolon again semicolon be careful while using semicolons people always forget semicolons see in take the value from the user and store that in a we have to store it in a then again we want another number how enter the second number again semicolon now I want to store that value in B now no need for these two so I'll remove them again this logic is same A plus B equals C C out C now run your program enter the first number let's say it's 2 second number is 3 you got 
got your answer as 5 now let us give some <coughs> formatting to our string the resultant string <coughs> Now you can play with the string as the way you want like the sum of a and b is c. So what will happen? our C out will print first this the sum of then it will print the A value and then it print this B value then it print is and then it will print C so let us see how it works <coughs> enter the first number let us say 12 for this time second number 22 the sum of 12 and 22 is 34 right let us make it more clear the sum of let us give some spaces again run your program the first number 22 second number 11 the sum of 22 and 11 is 33 see how you can play with the string how you can display your result in different ways so this was a simple program explaining how you can get your calculator up and running if you want to do it for subtraction just change the sign multiplication division whatever you want you can do it for that purpose it doesn't matter how you do it this in the next part we'll see the common errors done by the students so till then thanks for watching hope you liked our video